Chris, welcome to Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Flyers snapped a seven game losing streak last weekend with an overtime win in Edinburgh last Sunday. How heavily were those losses and the nature of the losses impacting on the team up until that point? I think any time you start skidding, uh, it, it definitely becomes a mental battle to, to get ready for each game. Um, we'd had a couple especially tough back-to-back -back nights with Brayhead and then Nottingham in the middle of the week. Um, we felt like we were just fighting and scratching, but we were finding ways to make even bigger mistakes game after game and, and then letting teams just dismantle us. So getting getting two points at Edinburgh, and, which has been a tough place for us to play, was obviously big, and, and now we're just looking to move forward and you know continue to build on what we had going before the, the slide. That streak uh, began, of course, with uh, losing a goal in Edinburgh 10 seconds from the end of the game. Uh, and then, as I said, the, the win last week snapped that, uh, snapped that in the same venue. How are you the guys feeling and, and how much has that win lifted the team? Well, I mean, the moods obviously drastically changed. One, one win can change your, your outlook on everything. Uh, we know now that you know, we're capable of winning a game just like we were at the start of the year when we were, when we were putting like, you know, streaks together. But uh, to get that one off our back and to end that streak is, is a great, you know, it's a good first foot step forward to, to you know, going into the second half of the season. This weekend, of course, a triple header, firstly at home to Cardiff, playing them for the first time this season and looking to build on that win last week with a home ice advantage. Yeah. You know, anytime we play at home, we feel like we're, we're a better team and, and we're a tougher team to play against. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen Cardiff yet, but uh, we understand and we know from you know watching, score watching, that they're a very dangerous team and that they're going to provide some challenges of their own. But uh, this weekend is really more about what we're doing than, than what our opponents are doing. We know that every night our opponent is going to be good and that they pose a lot of problems. But right now, we have to focus on on buttoning up some of the you know the issues of our game and, and getting better as a team before you can go on worrying about what other teams are going to do to you. It's a cliche, Chris, but defending starts from the front, I guess, and still this Friday, Matt Nickerson missing final game of his suspension yeah. and uh, Kyle Haynes still missing with injury. How, how do you as a forward um, respond to those kind of weaknesses in the team and, and support the guys at the back? I think you just have to be more aware when you are playing offense. You can't you can't take as many risks as you, you normally would. Obviously, Haynes and Nickerson are both a huge pieces back there. And, and right now, we're just trying to, as, you know, as a forward, especially as a centerman, you just try and do you know little extra things to support your defense. And maybe staying higher or getting back and, and getting lower and giving them more outlets and, and maybe not jumping up as quickly just to provide, to know that they have that extra guy back there to help. But, you know, saying that, we're, we're still going to try and be that same creative offense we are. If we stop doing that, then, you know, we'll even have even less success. Then a road trip to Nottingham and Coventry. Mixed results against Nottingham this year, wins and losses. Yet to beat Coventry, so two tough games. Matt will be back for those, so looking to, to, to pick up some good results over the, the road trip to England. Oh, absolutely. I think we've been looking to pick up good results all weekend. Um, you know, we're going to start with, obviously, Cardiff tomorrow night, but you want to win every game you go into. Even though we just came off a streak, we feel like we can, you know, go into our Christmas break on a high note. Um, we know we're capable of, of being a lot better than we have been, and we're just going to concentrate first on Cardiff and then, you know, obviously have some confidence going into a, an arena like Nottingham that we've already won at this year. And we feel like against Coventry this year, they've been one goal games the entire you know, all three, we feel like we owe them, we feel like we match up well against them, and, and we're looking forward to that challenge as well. And turning to you personally, Chris, after taking time, I guess, to adjust to British ice hockey and the Flyers style of play, you've taken 33 points from 30 games. How are you feeling now that you've had almost half the season under your belt and how you've contributed to the team? Um, I mean, obviously, statistically wise, it's it's nice when you're able to contribute. Um, obviously, I know that's why I'm not negative to the fact that that's why the reason I was brought in here was to to provide offense. But uh, you know, the British ice hockey game, you know, there's a lot of similarities to back home. There's a lot of North American players who play here. Um, you know, it didn't take long to adjust, and and you know, obviously, I can't be satisfied with with those stats. But you know, the the ultimate goal is is team stats, and we we got to try and get better at that and and work our way forward because. When the team does well, then individual stats take care of themselves, and, and that's pretty much you know where it all stems from. Chris, thanks for talking to Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel. All the best for the weekend, and have a very happy Christmas. Thank you. Cheers.